guys, it's Queen Deidre, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 8 of Fruits Basket. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. <sighs> I'm not ready. <laughs> no, I don't think it's like that. But it's family time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no. <clears throat> you know, I say it so many times with this dang show, but I'm not ready for this. Mm -mm. This is going to be a tearjerker. I ain't got no dang tissues. Like, dead ass, not ready for this. <gasps> And the fact that Hana like sets in her waves, like, because mm. uh, I don't even think what in the original, like, her family didn't even go to Hawaii. Well, because see, I think no, once after that episode with her family, they weren't even mentioned ever again. So, mm. <laughs> I just want to go ahead and cry now, but no. Uh, <laughs> oh. Is that okay? It's gonna hurt so much. <laughs> Hmm. Can I just skip this episode? I don't want to watch this. No. No. Exactly. We won't be there though. Yeah, I'll be at the summons. Oh 
But it's a family outing, guys. These two won't go home. I know. Unfortunately. <laughs> 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 yeah, and then Tori would be home alone the whole entire time. Are you crying? Why are you crying? Mm -hmm. All it takes is a couple of sentences and a smile, and then it's like, fuck it. There you go. Good job, boys. Come here. And now you don't want to. Oh my God, Cody, you're going to fall. Okay. Come on. Come on, Cody. Hold on, guys. Jesus, don't do that. She'll be okay. You just wanted to come over here, didn't you? You just wanted attention. I understand, but dang, doggy. Uh. That's Toro for you. <laughs> Sit. Oh, yeah, I never really know.
<laughs> but you know, Hana. Uh, she still looks pretty with hair down. Still one of my favorite characters. Mm -hmm. And she said no. Oh god, I'm already getting ready to cry. <laughs> Fuck a keto. To be with the one true hot wafu, duh. Yeah, they're fine. They're just a little exhausted. They ran all the way over there. <laughs> to be with you? Come here. Oh my goodness, little one. Oh, oh my god. Yeah. No, stop licking my hand. You're you want your 
here, here. Yeah. Hey, Mommy G. <laughs> yeah, they don't want you to choke, Toru. I mean, it'd be really bad if you choked. Jesus Christ, little puppy, don't do that. You scared me. Hmm? Possibly. No, she's just checking on you, silly. Yeah, silly. <laughs> yeah, it's fine.
Yeah, and we just probably dancing or possibly done. I'm happy that that you didn't go. Yes, yes. <laughs> Pleasure with her, and that's all that matters. Be with her. <laughs> yeah, see, silly, you're gonna fall, puppy. Oh, God, it was so good. <laughs> The boat running home to be with her is just so tear jerking sad. Like, but it's sweet though. And then when they get there and she's almost crying. And if they didn't get there in time, she would have just been crying and crying and crying. But then eventually she would have stopped. And then she probably would have, honestly. Because mostly when you cry a lot, eventually the next thing you do is just you sleep. You need a really good sleep. But I'm so excited. Like, how the hell came in the episode and I wasn't expecting it. Like, dead ass, honestly. Because he didn't come in the original episode for the New Year's episode. He came in the following episode. So the fact that he's here a week early is so sweet. Like, ah, I'm, so <laughs> I'm just so happy he's here. Because, like, I have been waiting and waiting and waiting just to see him. Because he's just like the best boy to me. Besides you can kill, but, like, that's a horror my baby, my emo boyfriend is finally freaking here, and I can just die happy now. But I just need to see next week's episode and then just laugh because there's no sad moments. Not, I think, not for a while. I mean, Hatahara's backstory about his zodiac that I can't really talk about yet. It is sad, but I think other than that, like after next week's episode and how they're going with the pacing. Um, yep. <laughs> um, so, they're really after this episode coming up, which is episode this is eight. So, episode nine. So, between 10 to when I think uh, Kisa comes in. When Kisa comes in, it's a sad episode. But I think from once Haru comes in and does his stuff, after that, it's not really. There, there's still a little bit of sad moments. If I need to, I may, like, possibly, like, watch the show from where Hataharu comes in or probably the week after he comes in just to see because, like, I I remember a little bit of them at the same time. I don't because, like I said, it's been a really long behind time since I've seen this show. And since they're doing it where it's, like, two episodes in one, basically, instead of, like, with this episode, it was just the New Year's episode. It was nothing else. And going back to last week's or the week before, they've always done two episodes from the original series in one full episode where, you know, um, like Hana and Uo coming over and then having 
learning about Shigure being an author, like, that was in the episode when Hana and Uo came, came over, which was the next following episode. So I still love the fact that they're doing two episodes in one, but I feel like because the show, I think the original series is 24, 24, 26 episodes long, and we're every single time we're getting closer and closer to that moment, I don't think they're going to be like, oh yeah, we're doing it all in 12 episodes, because there's no way in hell you can get every single moment for every other character to come in this show in 12 episodes. That's why I feel like this show is just going to be like 20 to 24 episodes. So, yeah, I mean, yeah. There, there's really, as of right now, there's like no other sad moments that I can think of instead of the Kisa, um, only really the Kisa episode and then leading up to the finale. That's it. Um, yeah, nothing else really comes to mind for any other sad moments, but they could be adding things that were in the manga that ever made it to the 20, um, I keep saying 20, uh, 2001 anime that they might put in this one, but I can't really tell what, and that's why I kind of, I kind of wish I read the manga, but at the same time, I'm like, no, no, it's okay. I do know that, like, the person who made the original Fruit Basket made a new series for Fruit Basket, and I think it's like a sequel. I'm not 100% sure. I'd have to look it up. And I found this out, like, a year or two ago, I think. I'm not 100% sure, but, oh my god, it was just good. Everything was good. I mean, I was expecting, like, tears, but, like, it was just a little bit. It wasn't, it wasn't a lot. Not like last week's episode. But next week is gonna be so good, and I'm so excited because my baby is here. Hatsuharu is here, and that's all I don't care about. Hatsuharu and Momiji are here. My babies are here, and I'm just so freaking happy, because I just, I love them both. But I love Har Hataharu more, because my evil boyfriend, that's all. Mm. Other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 8 of 2019's Fruits Basket. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like, it really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel, I make videos every single day. Join the Matchless Squad, and of course, I will see you guys all officially next Friday for episode 9. Bye, guys.